or not, summer is upon us and while the students are out of school on summer break, there is lots of work happening in terms of construction and building. Summer months, Dr. Maher, that's our busy time. Are you sure summer's upon us? Because didn't we not so long ago just miss for a blizzard? Yeah, but that's we history. didn't really have spring. That's history. We didn't really have spring, yeah. and summer is June 21st. It is, yeah. You, you're exactly, <laughs> so I think you're we exactly spring. right. School is <laughs> nearly out. Yeah, right. It is. It's time to think about what is what does the summer hold for us? And yeah. As it turns to construction, the answer is a lot. <laughs> yeah. So encapsulating uh, or using the word a lot, uh, let's dig into the two largest projects that we have going on. Yeah, two largest projects are issues that, that most everybody in town, maybe everybody in town is familiar with. Uh, we passed a bond issue last September 18th mm -hmm. for $190 million. And Two of the biggest pieces in that bond are the construction of a new high school and the construction of a new middle school. We've named those buildings now, Thomas Jefferson mm -hmm. High School and Ben Rifle Middle School. Uh, Jefferson High School will have a groundbreaking in June. Okay. I don't remember the exact date in June. I think it's, gosh, maybe but it's on 22nd our website. or 24th. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it, um, but we'll, we'll actually have a formal groundbreaking in June mm -hmm. and then we'll back that up in July with the formal groundbreaking across town for Ben Rifle Middle School at the same time. And, and those will be, while there's a lot going on right now in terms of design development and, and ready for the actual construction and things that people can see take place, um, it'll, it'll start fast and furious this summer. Right, and that summer work, uh, it seems like it takes a while before you start seeing the walls go up, but uh, the, the footings, the you know foundational structures and all of that that needs just to go into work. place. The dirt just work. the dirt work will the take utilities, a long period of time. You know, to yeah. here and there, and, and so all of that work takes place, and then all of a sudden you see something the walls blossom go up out of the ground, it, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, <laughs> which is super exciting, but uh, it, it does take time to, to build a school. We have these set to open in the fall of 2021. Right. Uh, that's a, an aggressive plan, but it, one we're it, it, on track it is. with. You're exactly right. In September 18th you know, of, of 2018, mm -hmm. we're like, we know it's aggressive, 2021, mm -hmm. we don't know if we can hit it. Um, now here we are you know, in May, well into it. and uh, in May of 2019, and we're still on target mm -hmm. to, to be able to open both the middle school and the high school in the fall of 2021. So that's a great place to be. We're on budget, we're on time, and I hope I can rattle off those two phrases for three more years. Yeah, absolutely. Because uh, those, are, those are critical pieces to any large-scale construction project. We also have Memorial Middle School where they're constructing um, or adding on to the music areas there, that program and the popularity of it um, at Memorial, plus the fact that Memorial just has a sheer lot of students, a lot of students, lot. <laughs> um, but giving them a little bit more space to adequately um, run the, the music programs over there. And that's work that'll take place this summer as well. And so let's just hope the weather sticks on our side, yeah. right? So I talked about the, the, the bond issue, September mm -hmm. 18th. There are really four big components to it. A new high school, a new middle school, and a new elementary school were three components. Mm -hmm. And then the fourth component was additions, renovations at a number of different schools that already exist in our, in our school district. Memorial Middle School will be the first recipient of those other schools to have a, 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 a bit of a facelift, if you will, right. some rejuvenation put into it this summer. Yeah, and certainly it's not lost on us that that election and the support that we had from the community is allowing us to make these improvements for for schools and ultimately for students. Yeah. We are, I'm, I'm tickled for a couple of things. One, I'm still tickled for the support that we received last September. Two, I'm tickled that our community is going to be able to begin to see what that really looks like. Mm -hmm. You know, after the ballot is cast, now what does it look like? They'll begin to see that this summer. And three, I'm really thankful for Jeff Kreider <laughs> and everybody in operational services because they are working their fool butts off <laughs> to get things done and get things done in a cost-effective manner and in a timely manner. I can't tell the folks of this community how lucky we are to have Jeff Kreider mm -hmm. in the position he's in in our school system. And he makes it look effortless, though we know it's he, not. <laughs> he's, he's, he's amazing. He, yeah. he is actually, he's an absolute star in our district. Yeah. Fantastic, and uh, 
We look forward to having those buildings complete in 2021, but we are excited about all of the, the growth and the construction that will be taking place between now and then. Thanks for joining us today on Envision.